Well, I believe um, a woman should be fearless uh, going into who she is and knowing her worth. She should go further into knowing that, you know, there there's no boundaries and that she can go further than, you know, the sky's the limit. So definitely being fearless, I would say. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're just gonna jump right into the questions. Let's start by your introduction, your name, your age, what state you're from, and what your major is. Yeah, um, my name is Alyssa Rivera. Um, I am a junior, sophomore, junior here at KU. I'm kind of in between at the moment. Um, I'm 21. I just turned 21 this year, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, my major is um, my major is dance with a minor in international business. Um, I'm from Leavenworth, Kansas, so that's like 45 minutes away from where we're located, which is Lawrence. So, yeah. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Okay, first question. Do you believe that black women are overlooked? And if so, why? Yeah, um, I, I believe that black women can be overlooked, but before getting into them overall, like, females are overlooked uh, because of our sensitivity and, you know, um, our figure, our physicality, many things that plays a factor into us being overlooked as a whole. But black women specifically, I think, were overlooked because of like social media, um, what's what's presented on television, uh, reality shows, uh, even the little memes on Facebook. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> like I saw one earlier, and it was I think it was based off of just um, how she was mad about a, another man leaving her and what she would do, like. And she's a black woman, and most of these memes, I feel, are given off as us always having an attitude or having some type of negativity to bring to the plate, and we're really not like that. And so, overall, that's how people look at us as, as oh, black women can do, we'll have this type of attitude, or right. um, they, they're always going to have some type of negativity, and, I mean, they overlook us easily, and they would rather go for the professionalism of a woman. And we can be professional, but others kind of get the ones that are, like, negative all the time. Right, right. <laughs> they catch those ones, and it's like, that's not so, who we really are. Mm -hmm. Look at us, like, you look good. All right, <laughs> women being generalized, too, that's really hard sometimes. Yeah. All right. Viola Davis recently became the first African-American to win the Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama. In her speech, she says... The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. Mm -hmm. Why is there such a huge change in the opportunity gap for women of color? With us in this era, because of how we've been overlooked, you know, and we kind of, I feel like we endure in that so much because of the negativity that we second guess are the opportunities that we have. And it's just honestly believing in ourselves to think that we're not. Um, what others think of us as a society, you know. Right. So I think, um, when I also like with this question, I think that there's been a shift, a good shift in, in the opportunity gap as far as even, and I use Viola Davis because how if I could think back as like being a kid and watching TV, I've never seen so many shows where there are like leading black women, yeah. you know, like Scandal and How Mary to Get Away with Murder, <laughs> yeah. Mary Jane, being mm. Mary Jane, and yeah. now Empire. So like, yeah, that change is awesome. It is a huge change. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I believe so as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is something that we women of color could do right now to make a positive change in minimizing the opportunity gap so that our younger generation could have more opportunities? Yeah, um, I know as far as with me, uh, giving off that positivity towards other generations having younger sisters myself is just um, giving off that positive vibe and always uh, encouraging those and uh, believing in yourself and making that known except for just saying it you know a lot of people just talk and talk and talk and say so much to other people and I mean I've witnessed it like they say stuff mm -hmm. oh I'm gonna do this you should do this but what are you actually doing right you know and so that's what I want to give off to especially the 
younger generation who's struggling now seeing what they're seeing in social media is um to look up to look past that and to realize you're more and there's more out there there's more opportunities don't don't stop you right. know keep definitely. going definitely mm-hmm. what do you do in your personal life now that will leave a mark for the generations after us yeah um i'll say i i never gave up you know um there's many situations where I mean, to give off one, not to say, you know, too much on when I competed for Miss Kansas, but Mm -hmm. um, competing for that, there was so much, so much negativity brought towards me that brought me down, you know, Mm -hmm. and had me think um, I wasn't good enough. And uh, because of me being the minority, um, it brought me down even more. But I mean, I I always kept my head up, you know, Right, right, right. I never gave up and I still competed and I still, I mean, um, there's other situations where I've been beaten down and by men, not beaten, beaten, like abused. Yeah, but like, verbally. Verbally, or, yeah. yeah, I'm not <laughs> verbally. Um, that, you know, I had to stand up and say I'm, I'm worth more. And so realizing that and having that type of mindset mm-hmm. had me think, um, you know, I'm one of those people that just never give up. And I, I'm still in that process, you know. So right, so it's like an, a cycle. It's a cycle, but it's, it's going. Yeah, definitely. What is some dating advice you'd give to a younger girl? Oh my gosh, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> right? Okay, you need to know yeah. top few. <laughs> top, yeah. Um, I'll say getting some background on who they really are. I mean, not to be crazy. Don't go crazy with it, you know. And Oh my gosh, he's done this. All Talk of- his, we'll <laughs> go through his record. Yeah. yeah, it's too much. Like you can honestly just get a, a couple of views on what he's done in his past, mm-hmm. or because I mean, not even his past, just knowing who he actually is, what kind of person he is. Because um, there's many men who's went to jail and they came out as being amazing. Ama- people. Yeah, yeah. And you can't really judge off of that automatically. Oh, he's got the record of this. No, like you have to really look deeper than that. And so mm-hmm. I would say doing so- a little bit of a background and. Seeing if they have any ambitions, mm-hmm. especially if you go on that date, because it's just a date, you know, it's not like your man to be, you know, you right. just go on a date. So, <laughs> right. But it's still good to have a mindset of like mm-hmm. who that man is, you know, and if you can relate and communicate easily with, because I can't stand being stuck up on a date just like, oh my gosh, like, what is this? Right. <laughs> like, I don't think I can be comfortable <laughs> with what's going on right now. Right. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Last question. What is something that you could work on right now? Yeah, I would say, uh, dang it, I say yeah a lot. <laughs> but I would say, uh, there's a lot of things. I'm not perfect at all, by any means. Um, but there's a lot of things I need to work on as far as with my my mindset, with overthinking and second guessing, oh you know. Right. Um, mm-hmm. It irritates me when I'm like, Thinking, thinking ahead of time except for just doing it and seeing right. what's going to happen and what the outcome may be if you just make that decision and so walk by faith not by sight <laughs> thank a man All i right. was in church today and i heard heard about that um mm-hmm. yeah i just got out of church by the way just let that be known Yay. but um <laughs> it's it's always a good feeling when you when you get told um you know that you can do something and you don't need to feel rejected or feel like there's going to be rejection because mm-hmm. me as a dancer i there's always going to be a rejection there but knowing that you did it and you actually um took a step by faith you know mm-hmm. it's, it's something so yeah just overthinking stuff i need to stop doing that well that's, that's good that's something good to work on yeah all right well thank you for being here <laughs> yeah no problem all right guys until next time bye Like you said, Viola Davis just won an Emmy for what, you know, what she's been doing for so long and she's been working hard for it. And so, you know, just keeping up, being consistent with what you do, I feel like that shows the younger generation that you can.